In November 2017, the Clearinghouse's RTP network processed the first real-time payments in the US and has since continued to grow with more than 280 participants to date. The system, which supports requests for payment in addition to payer-initiated payments, has seen steady growth. In fact, it processed over 45 million transactions with a total value of close to 20 billion in the third quarter of 2022. But there's a new kid on the block. I'm Tjeld Herrmann, and this is the future of real-time payments in the US in 100 seconds. The Federal Reserve Bank is launching a competing real-time payment solution called FedNow. It's scheduled to go live in 2023 and is currently being piloted by around 100 financial institutions. But how does it compare with RTP? Both systems are set to charge 4.5 cents per originated transactions, so there's no clear price advantage. And they support similar use cases, including B2B, B2C, and P2P. When it comes to transaction amounts, FedNow has a lower limit of half a million dollars versus RTP's one million. The main difference lies in their governance. RTP is operated by a consortium of large banks, whereas FedNow is operated by the Federal Reserve. This gives FedNow a unique advantage in that it will allow banks to transfer funds between their FedNow account and their Federal Reserve Master account. RTP, on the other hand, edges ahead in terms of interoperability and has developed value-added services for its members, such as bill presentment and account tokenization. We hope that competition between TCH and the Fed will continue to not only push innovation forwards, but also create downwards pressure on pricing, helping real-time payments inch towards becoming the new normal. And there certainly is the ability for prices to come down. An instant payment in Europe costs banks just 0.2 cents. Based on our experiences in Europe, we think it's likely that both systems will continue to flourish in the US market. This means that banks will need to continue to decide which real-time system or systems they wish to maintain keeping in mind that using both will lead to additional costs. Interoperability is set to remain a challenge due to the real-time settlement nature of these systems. However it plays out, we are looking forward to seeing what the future holds for real-time payments in the US. Would you like to learn more about our instant payments experience in Europe and how our lessons learned can apply to your financial institution in the US? Please reach out to my colleagues or I. We're happy to assist you.